This is sky. Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We return to MIT professor Noam Chomsky. Democracy Now!'s Juan Gonzalez and I spoke to him on Tuesday. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Latin America. We had a period for about 10 years of uh, uh, enormous social progress in Latin America, uh, all these uh, socially minded governments, reduction of income inequality, the only part of the world where there are no nuclear weapons. Uh, and yet now we've seen uh, in the last few years a real steps backwards. Quite a few of the popular governments, with the exception of Ecuador recently, uh, have been thrown out of office and uh, a deepening crisis in Venezuela. Your sense of what has happened and that, that after so much promise, all of a sudden, it seems that the region is going backward? Well, there were, there were real achievements, uh, but uh, the uh, left governments failed to use the opportunity available to them to try to create sustainable, viable economies. Uh, almost every one, Venezuela, Brazil, others, uh, Argentina, uh, relied on the rise in commodity prices, which is a temporary phenomenon. Uh, commodity prices did rise, because, mainly because of the growth of China. Uh, so there's a rise in the oil price of soy and so on and so forth. And instead of trying to develop a sustainable eco economy with manufacturing, um, agriculture and so on, like Venezuela is potentially a rich agricultural country, but they didn't develop it. They simply relied on the uh, uh, the commodities, raw materials, commodities they could export. Uh, that's uh, a very harmful. It's not only not a successful. It's a harmful development model, because when you export uh, grain to China, let's say they export manufacturing goods to you, and that undermines your manufacturing industries. And that's pretty much what's been happening. On top of that, there was just enormous corruption. Uh, it's just uh, it, 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 it's, uh, painful to see the Workers' Party in Brazil, uh, which did carry out significant measures. Uh, just They just couldn't keep their hands out of the till. Uh, they joined the extremely corrupt elite, which is robbing all the time, and took part in it as well, and discredited themselves. And there's a reaction. Uh, I don't think the game is over by any means. There were real successes achieved, and uh, I think a lot of those will be sustained. But there is a regression. They'll have to pick up again with, uh, one hopes, more uh, uh, honest uh, forces that won't be that will, first of all, uh, recognize the need to develop the economy in a way which has a solid foundation, not just based on raw material exports, and secondly, uh, uh, honest enough to carry out uh, decent programs without uh, robbing the public at the same time. What about Venezuela? Venezuela is really a disastrous situation. The, uh, the economy relies on oil uh, as to the a great, probably a greater extent than ever in the past, certainly very high. And the uh, corruption, the, uh, the robbery and so on has been extreme under the, especially after Chavez's death. So it's, it's a, I mean, if you look at it, it still has, uh, if, if you look at, say, the UN uh, Human Development Index, uh, Venezuela still ranks, uh, say, above Brazil. So it's uh, the, uh, uh, there are hopes and possibilities for uh, reconstruction and development, but the promise of the earlier years has been significantly lost. Now, what